Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to verify Stokes theorem for the given f vector, which is taken around the rectangular region bounded by x is equal to plus or minus a, y is equal to 0 and y equal to b. Let's write the Stokes theorem, which is integral over c f vector dot dr vector is equal to double integral over the surface s del cross f vector dot n cap ds. Now we are going to construct a small diagram for the given rectangular region. So we have x axis and y axis. Let's name the axis here which is x here and y here and the boundaries are x is equal to plus or minus a. So x is equal to plus or minus a x is equal to minus a is a line which will cross x axis at a point minus a and another line x is equal to a which will cross the x axis at a point a on the x value and y equal to 0 is nothing but the x axis itself and y equal to b is a line which is crossing the y axis at a point b. So this is our region under consideration. This is our origin O and we shall take this point as A. This equation is x is equal to A for this line. So this point A is A comma 0. Let us take this as B and this equation, the horizontal equation is y is equal to 0 and this is y is equal to B. So this is a meeting point of x and x equal to a and y is equal to b. So this is b is a comma b. And let us take this point as c. And uh, this point is at a distance minus a from the origin. So it is minus a comma b. And this point is minus a comma 0. And the equation of this line cd is x is equal to minus a. Now coming to the left hand side of the Stokes theorem, in LHS we need f dot dr. So dr vector in general it is dx i cap plus dy j cap plus dz k cap. When we do f vector dot dr we multiply corresponding i component. So in f vector we have x square plus y square. So it is x square plus y square dx. Then dy is minus 2xy. So minus 2xy dy and there is no k component. So coming to integral over c, it is made up of, from the diagram you can see, four part. One is AB, BC, CD and DA. So let us take integral over AB, then BC, then CD and DA. Now coming to integral over AB, its equation is x is equal to A. It means when x is A and its derivative dx is 0. So in f dot dr, we have to use dx as 0. The first part is fully 0 and the second part we have minus 2 x is a and y is as it is and dy. And from the diagram you can see the limit it varying from 0 to b. The limit of y varies from 0 to b. So this becomes minus 2a y dy integral from 0 to b. So minus 2a is a constant and y integration is y square by 2. So we have to substitute the limit for y from 0 to b. We can cancel this 2. After using the limit we get minus a b square. Then coming to bc. In bc this is a line y equal to b is the equation of that line and from this d y is 0. When dy is 0, in f dot dr, the second part is 0. And the first part x square plus y square, which becomes 
x square plus y square becomes b square into dx and the limit of x from b to c it varies from the x varies from a to minus a so we have integral a to minus a x square plus b square dx which is x cube by 3 plus b square x and limit varies from a to minus a when we use upper limit it becomes minus a cube minus a whole cube by 3 is minus a cube by 3 and when I substitute for the second term it is minus a b square so this is for upper limit when we put the lower limit a for x we get a cube by 3 plus b square a or a b square when I take the minus sign inside this becomes minus a cube by 3 already there is a minus a cube by 3 so 2 minus 2 a cube by 3 and minus 2 a b square now the next two part is c d so integral c d its equation is x is equal to minus a so dx is equal to 0 so dx is 0 then f dot dr the first part is fully 0 then minus 2 xy dy is remaining so minus 2 x is minus a and y is remaining and dy and the limit from c to d is the limit of y b to 0 so it is varying from b to 0 and this 2a is a constant which can be taken out so we left with y dy its integration is y square by 2 and we have to use a limit 0 to b for y we can cancel this when I substitute the upper limit, sorry, b to 0 is the limit. So, so here it is b, here it is 0. So, it is a into upper limit is 0 minus lower limit is b square. Finally, it is minus a b square. Now, the last part is dA. Its equation is y is equal to 0. So, integral dA. So, this limit varies from minus a to a from d to a you can see from the diagram from d to a it is varying from minus a to a its equation is y is equal to 0 so when y is 0 dy is 0 so when I substitute y is 0 in f dot dr and dy is 0 so second part is fully 0 and here it is x square dx so we are going to write only x square dx and its integration is x cube by 3 and limit is from minus a to a. When I use upper limit we get a cube by 3 minus of lower limit minus a cube by 3 so it become minus into minus plus so a cube by 3 plus a cube by 3 gives 2 a cube by 3. Now totally when we add all the four terms of the LHS the first is a b which is minus a b square. So minus a b square and the second term b c is minus 2 a cube by 3 minus 2 a cube by 3 minus 2 a b square then c d is minus a b square minus a b square and the last term is plus 2 a cube by 3 so we can cancel minus 2 a cube by 3 plus 2 a cube by 3 now all the terms when we add we get minus 4 a b square next part we are going to start the right hand side of the stokes theorem in right hand side we have del cross f vector for this we have to use a determinant the first row is i j k and del component is dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z and f vector its components are x square plus y square and minus 2xy 
So x square plus y square minus 2xy and the last part is 0 and this determinant we are going to evaluate and the first part i cap into dou by dou i into 0 is 0 and dou by dou i set of this constant is again 0 so first part is fully 0 and second part j cap into and this derivative dou x dou by dou x into 0 is 0 and again dou by dou z of this x square plus y square is because x square plus y square is constant when we do partial derivative with respect to z. So again it is 0. Then we have only k cap left and this derivative will be minus 2y because x derivative is 1 and minus of this derivative will be 2y. So totally this del cross f factor is minus 4y k cap. Now coming to double integral del cross f factor is minus 4y k cap and here n cap is perpendicular to this plane is k cap and ds is dx dy. So it is dot n cap becomes k cap for this and dx dy and the limit of x varying from minus a to plus a and limit of y varying from 0 to b. So limit of x we can see from here minus a till a and the limit of y we can see from 0 to b. So minus a to a and 0 to b minus a to a and 0 to b. That's the first part. We are going to evaluate integral with respect to x. Before that, we take 0 to b. This dot product will become minus 4y alone. So minus 4y integration with respect to x is x because constant into x and limit is from minus a to plus a and we have dy. After using the limit a minus or minus a plus a. So it is minus 4y into 2a and this we have to evaluate from 0 to b dy and this integration will become this constants we can write it as it is minus 4 into 2a y integration is y square by 2. This by 2 I keep it here and limit is from 0 to b. Anyway we can cancel this. When I use the upper limit it becomes b square. Lower limit is 0. So only b square minus 4a b square. Even the left hand side we got minus 4a b square. And the right hand side also minus 4a b square. So we find LHS equal to RHS. Hence Stokes theorem is verified.